I'm Adam Beasley, and this is your Miami Herald Dolphins report. Well, if I was to tell you that Ryan Tannehill would have just 149 yards passing, Jay Ajayi would do very little on the ground through the first three quarters, uh, and the Dolphins would have a muff punt, lose the ball in their own end in a close game against their rival New York Jets. You would probably say the three of those things combined, the Dolphins lose. Well, they didn't. They won 27-3 today uh, on the heels of Kenyon Drake, who returned a kickoff 96 yards for a touchdown, 27-23 was the final. In fact, that play should never have happened. Uh, the, the previous play, the previous kickoff, uh, the Jets jumped off sides. They corralled Jakeem Grant deep in the Dolphins' end, but the Dolphins made them re-kick. The Jets were spent. And as, as Kenyon Drake did in the National Championship game back in January, he had a game-breaking, game-changing kickoff return for a touchdown. Helped Alabama win the National Championship last year. Helped the Dolphins get to 4-4 four and four this year. Yes, they're now 4-4. Four and four. Three straight wins, digging out of a one and four hole is pretty remarkable. And Drake is an unlikely hero. Yes, we know about Jay Ajay, who still had over 100 yards today. Strong fourth quarter at 111 yards. Uh, third straight game over 100, has well over 500 yards the last three games. But we didn't see Drake coming. Uh, he just didn't get that many opportunities to run the ball, to catch the ball, and to return the ball. Uh, the Jets made an effort to kick away from him that final kickoff return. Uh, Darren Rizzi called a middle return. He followed the funnel of blocks and turned on the Jets. But he was tired, man. He was so dead tired after the game, he had to go and throw up after he talked to us. He left the media scrum, went outside, puked his guts out, came back in, felt a lot better, and talked to us. I'll tell you who's feeling better right now, Stephen Ross and the Miami Dolphins. Four and four now, right back in this. They are in the thick of this playoff hunt. They fly to San Diego on Thursday, play the Chargers and the Rams back-to-back -back weeks. That two-game swing on the West Coast could go a long way in deciding their future.